Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's make some volcano chicken tenders. These are absolutely delicious. They're bomb. Can't wait to show you guys how to make it. If you're interested, keep on watching. Like if you enjoy and let's jump right in. The ingredients for today's recipe will be found in the description box below. So for today's recipe, I am using chicken tenderloin. I am going to sprinkle a little bit of oil on there, then we'll start seasoning. Now to season, I am using this adobo seasoning mixed with lemon pepper. Literally, I bought it that way. I was like, oh my God, I have to have this because it's adobo seasoning mixed with lemon pepper. Get it? Let me know down below if you guys have used this before because I like it. I like it. And also I'm mixing it with some paprika. Mix that together and sprinkle it, generously sprinkle it all over your chicken. Okay, perfect. We have the chicken nice and seasoned. Set it aside, moving on. Now I have two cups of flour here. I am going to season it with ground black pepper, Creole seasoning, onion and garlic powder, dry parsley, and as well as some paprika. Okay, we're going to add that to our flour, mix it up together. And also I will be adding one large egg in there now this is what's going to make your chicken nice and crunchy you gotta come through with that club soda now i am also going to be adding some water to this as well because the club soda was a little bit too small you can add just club soda or mix it with water doesn't really matter i'm adding about one cup of water until i have a consistency like a pancake batter consistency. Yeah, something like that, as you guys can see. We're going to set that aside, moving on. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to take your chicken, place it into the batter first, okay? Then you're going to place it to your bread crumb this is plain breadcrumbs no seasoning you don't need it so i am going to do it again for you guys take the chicken place it into the batter then place it into the breadcrumb and set it aside i like to get all of my chicken nice and breaded before i start frying it's just i don't want to go back and forth with the frying and the breading okay now i have my oil nice and hot it's about 350 degrees right now i'm going to gently place my chicken in there and i'm going to fry the chicken for 10 minutes okay 10 minutes these are small chicken tenderloin so they don't really take a long time to cook 10 minutes max and they're from the the breast you don't want them to get dry so try your best to not overcook these because when they are nice and juicy perfectly cooked they're like the best thing to eat i'm going to remove these place them to a cooling rack and allow the oil to drain while that is cooling down i am going to cook the other batch off camera because Come on now, y'all don't wanna see that. You see it already. And can you see how golden brown and crispy this is? I'm sorry, it was a little bit out of focus, but you can see it, okay? So now we're making the volcano sauce. 
how do you make it rose well here's how to make it i added about two tablespoons of unsalted butter to my skillet once melted i added one cup of buffalo sauce pour that in there just like so next we're going to add some honey Next, I'm going in with some dry pepper flakes. Mm -mm -mm, it's going to be so good. And also I'm adding some dry parsley in there. And last but not least, we're going to add some rice wine vinegar in there, pour that in. Now we're going to give this a nice stir and we're going to let it simmer for about a minute or two. And basically your sauce is done Now that the sauce is done, I am going to take the chicken, place them to a bowl. Now, if you want, you can dip the chicken in the sauce as you're eating it, if you want the crunch. But if you like your sauce all over your chicken, you can just pour it as you guys can see I'm doing. But I advise you eat it right away because you don't want it to sit and get soggy. So I'm not trying to toss the chicken too much because because I don't wanna mess with the crunch, but basically once it's done, this is your final result. Mm, 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 mm. So, so good. And look how juicy the chicken looks. I hope you enjoy, I hope you try. This is another 10 out of 10 would recommend recipe. Hope you try it for the fam. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit this video with a like if you enjoy it. And I know you did. So let's get this video to 1,000 likes. I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye.